the insect group of flies is one of the four most species rich groups of organisms on the planet and this would include the non-biting midge flies of the family Chironomidae. Throughout the world there are more than 10,000 species of these which is about the same number of the identified species of birds. So the species of these midge flies, about half of all land vertebrates. So they are quite diverse and more species undoubtedly are yet to be discovered. The males can be identified by their feathery antennae. Uh, females do not have these feathery antennae. Females will lay their eggs in water or in a damp environment, and the larvae are aquatic worm-like organisms. So uh, just like maggots of houseflies will undergo several stages of their life cycle and after they leave their pupae will look like uh, houseflies, uh, these uh, chironomid larvae are aquatic worm-like organisms that one could find perhaps in moist soil but more typically in aquatic environments. They can live in polluted aquatic environments uh, from sewage to uh, other areas which lack oxygen and so uh, their presence uh, can uh, be part of a measure of the overall quality of the water source. In some species, including those of the genus Chironomus, the larvae possess hemoglobin molecules which bind oxygen and give them a reddish color. Hence, they are often known as bloodworms. And this uh, hemoglobin binds oxygen and allows them to survive in habitats with little oxygen. Those larvae which are mature as winter nears will then simply overwinter as mature larvae, which then become adults in spring. While some chironomids do feed as adults, uh, many do little if any feeding and will typically live somewhere between a day and several days. During this time, uh, their purpose in their life cycle is to mate uh, and for the females lay eggs before they die. They form vast swarms uh, where males fly and females can fly into these swarms of males in order to mate. These swarms are uh, quite impressive uh, to see, uh, but sometimes have been reported as a nuisance. So, for example, they may hit windshields and uh, therefore uh, form a residue on windshields, or people walking through these uh, clouds may, you know, inhale bugs and, you know, find that unpleasant. As the adults die, uh, very often they form such uh, vast amounts of material that this is a good food source for fish and for birds. The eggs laid in spring will produce larvae which live in aquatic habitats. These may then become adults during the summer and there may be several generations over the warmer months uh, before once again uh, there are mature larvae which will overwinter waiting for the next spring. 